Hello, this is Patriot in the Dark. Welcome back to the channel. Today I have a Raptor crossdraw holster for the Glock G23. It's made in house by Craft Holsters, so let's check it out. <laughs> Okay, so all the specs for this holster are listed in the description below. So if you're interested, check that out. Uh, to start, I had never had any interest in cross draw holsters. I'm kind of stuck in my ways. I'm an old guy. I like the outside the waistband, three o'clock, uh, strong side carry. Now with this, Kraft sent me this to, I guess, mess me up. And I'm pretty glad that they did. So. Uh, to start this holster, we'll get rid of this stuff here. Uh, this holster is um, all leather. It's in black because good guys wear black. Now, this is built to be worn on your weak side, which since this is a right-hand holster, that would make it uh, about the 10 o'clock position on your weak side. Um, the leather has a lacquered finish, all right? So it's, it's very smooth. It's almost a polished feel. So it uh, seems like it would be really nice to wipe off if it gets dirty. Um, on the inside of the holster, it is a really short nap. It's almost smooth. I mean, it's not, not the same uh, polished feel as the outside, but uh, debris shouldn't stick in there. It is an open top and open muzzle, so if anything does get in there, it will fall out. Now, uh, the way this mounts to your belt, it's outside the waistband. Um, it does have one belt slot, right? That'll actually go forward because of being on the weak side. Um, the other other section is a belt tunnel. This is about an inch and a half wide. Um, so with, with a good gun belt, um, it does lock down uh, pretty tight to your side, all right? So uh, one thing about this belt tunnel, it isn't just a short little piece of leather that's stitched on top and bottom. It's actually stitched on the bottom on the back side, then it wraps up, there's a stitch above where the belt will be, and then the leather continues up and wraps around the top, right? And so what that does is it really makes it nice and rigid. Um, this is a thin leather, but I don't know if it's just because of being lacquered and doubling up, it, does, uh, it doesn't collapse like some of the thicker leathers that are soft, right? So reholstering, that'll be nice. Uh, when they make these, holsters um, they are double stitched and I always try to find something I don't like with them and we'll get to that in a second but there's no parts that are sharp the edges are all nice and rounded um, it's a really feels really nice and it is light compared to some of the other thicker leathers to, that are this rigid um, it, it's pretty light now this one was actually made for the Glock 23 which will clear real quick here all right uh, one thing with this being built for the Glock 23 uh, the Glock 23 has or most of the Glocks has a really sharp uh, deep uh, ejection port and so uh, you'll have to take note once we get into the holster you'll see uh, but the leading edge is really defined and it sticks in and so it's a really sharp pronounced edge right there so on the holster itself, when they make these holsters, they actually mold it to the specific firearm. So depending on what you get, uh, it has different uh, contours. Um, but on the inside of this, uh, there is a, a ridge uh, where the leather was, was molded and it fits right into this ejection port. All right, and so it creates a lot of uh, resistance and uh, retention, right? Um, when I was going through and sizing this and fitting the holster, let's stick it in there now. I had a lot of trouble with that area, right? And so just with the, the, the different techniques of wrapping and, and placing it in there, I probably did it for about a week and a half off and on, um, checking it every couple of days. Um, that portion of the, the holster really fits in to that deep section. And so it does kind of make a, a, a tight fit. Um, once you do have this firearm on your side, um, I take a kind of a small twist, you know, grabbing the, the grip, you know, and, and giving it a twist and it comes out a little easier. So set that down. 
All right, with the way this mounts on your belt, it does sit up really high, all right? And so with the pistol, um, at least designed with the Glock in mind, um, it sits maybe, a, a, I guess, a half an inch or so above or below your belt, so it sits up really high. I'll actually show you how that looks, all right? And so it does conceal it. It does have a nice cant. I believe it's about a 65-degree cant forward, right? And so sitting on your strong side, um, it does lean forwards for, you know, a better positive grip as well as tipping it away so that if you do bend over or whatever, it's not jabbing in your side. Um, now, I, I carried this for a little over a week now, and there was a couple situations that uh, made me consider this, this style of carry a little more. Now, normally with a cross draw, people, you know, that like to drive, which I don't drive, uh, prefer this because obviously just reaching across the front of you is easier when you're in a confined area. Uh, but, you know, sitting as a passenger or sitting on a bench, if you're in a pew or something like that, uh, normally I carry on my uh, three o'clock position uh, outside the waistband. So your strong side arm is, you know, sticking out. It gets in the way if you're in a confined area, if there's people next to you or whatever. Uh, reaching across the front may uh, be a little easier you know you're not gonna have have your arm getting in the way or something that's sitting next to you so that it does make it a little simpler um, you know as far as the the fit and the feel I mean obviously that retention is really nice um, my biggest problem with this was um, obviously breaking it in and that that ejection port of the Glock now a different type pistol may not have that issue because you know uh, a lot of pistols are obviously being shaped different it mounts or it's molded right to you know the features of the firearm so depending on which one uh, you get which you can pick all that out obviously before you order so I like the feel of it uh, it might get uh, used a little more um, I'm gonna have to kind of test it out because I'm not used to carrying obviously on the weak side um, but it is something to, to check out and it might work out better for you, especially if you drive or you're you know, working in an office or you're sitting next to somebody. So with that, uh, the Raptor from Craft Holsters, they do make it in-house and uh, check it out. All the information is in the description. With that, make it an outstanding day, never for the dark.